Today, I'm going to teach you two games you can play with your dog in the house when you've got bad weather outside. Hey guys, my name is Andy Danklau. I'm coming at you from Southern California, and I am the founder of Holistic Households, and I teach people how to care for themselves and their pets holistically. So we're going to be working out of my garage today because I have three other crazy border collies who love food and I kind of have to separate them to show you this game. So ignore the mess and hopefully we won't have too much of the school noise in the background. So the first game we're going to teach you is what I call, um, and I'm going to use a different word because you'll hear it when I'm showing Maui, um, the word that I'm training him to do, but it's a hunt and we're hunting for treats. Um, and the treats are hidden anywhere throughout the garage from the ground level. And I even put them almost up as high as he can reach, which typically is like the workbench area here because he's a medium sized dog. So the first thing you need is a box, okay? And what you're gonna do is you are going to train your dog to put his head in the box. This way they are not afraid to stick their head in things to find or search for things. So. The way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna just have some treats in my hand and I'm gonna drop them in the box. Let him move the box around. Let him push it, let him climb in it. This is all good stuff for him. That helps them get to the point of no fear of moving objects. Um, uh, the moving objects, him high putting his head in dark places, those sort of things. So that's step one. Okay, so step two is to put down multiple boxes. I also have a bowl over here on the floor. Hopefully you could see that. Um, maybe not, let me kick it back into the frame a little bit. Um, so there's a bowl on the floor. And basically now what you're gonna do is you're going to have your dog search these items. So you can be over them. Uh, it's best to work with them on leash so you can kind of keep them in the area and help them get to a point where they're comfortable working. Um, so you're gonna use your word and this is where you're gonna see as soon as I say this word, he goes to work. Um, so Maui, find it. Okay, come here, find it. Good boy. Find it. So some of the boxes you want to have with treats in them, some of them you don't want them to have treats in them. That way they're exploring. Did you find that one? Good boy. Did you get them both out of here? Come here. Find, ooh, there's a car there. There's one on the other side too. Oh, you found it. So that's step two. Get them um, acclimated to sticking their heads in boxes and bowls, um, and then you can move on to the next step. And the next step would be to take your treats and put them up a little bit higher and out of reach so that your dog is comfortable. Um, <laughs> he's watching my hands. So that the dog is comfortable looking up and he knows that he can find treats up. And you can just lay them up like this um, to tell him to find them. Put them on different levels. Let him know that he could find them up higher. Oh yeah. Good boy. And work, him, um, work your dog so that they get comfortable with the heights as well. So then once you are done with those things, then you want to put your dog in the house. So we're gonna retire Maui to the house for a quick second and we'll be right back. Okay, so the treats to use for this game are usually a stinky treat, something they can smell easily. Um, and it is something that you want to be able to um, uh, reward them with a high value treat something they're want to, they're going to want to go after so hot dogs i like to use the nitrate and the nitrite free hot dogs um i use chicken chicken breast i just boil some chicken breast i cut it up in pieces he loves chicken breast all my dogs love chicken breast 
um, and cheese. They love cheese. So those are three of the things that I use a lot um, and they are very easy, easily smelled and they can track those down pretty well. So those are the treats that I use for this game. Okay, so I'm gonna do some hiding of treats and I'm gonna put one in the box so that he knows that he's supposed to work to start with. You see it fell in there. Then I'm gonna start with some low hidden areas. Um, and you'll see this is right next to our dog food, um, but he will find it. You could put some on the ground and um, he will track those down. Let's see, I will put one more out here too. He's, I didn't put him in the house because it's too much pain to get the dogs out. So another thing that I do is I like to put them on higher places. So let me grab Maui and I'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna grab Maui, and as soon as I get him in this area, his nose is already going, so you're gonna see quickly him working. I'm gonna move this camera back just a little bit, and you're gonna have more of a view of him and not me. So let's try that. goes for the box first because that's where we've taught him treats are. He knows that we're playing. Okay, there's one on the ground. I always count my hides, find it, so that um, we know how many he needs to find so I don't have any stinky rotten food laying around. He's just found number three on the food bucket over here. He's got two more to go. Now we find it. So in the beginning, having him on leash is helpful because you can kind of guide him to where your hides might be. And you could see how his head snaps when he catches the scent of the tree. So we're gonna walk over here. Come on, buddy, let's find it. Let's find it. And we just slowly walk, give him a chance to investigate. I have the garage open, so the wind is kind of blowing the air in, which carries the scent into the, um, into the garage a little bit. So he's got to work his nose and figure out where that scent is. He's getting a little stuck over there, so come on now. Come on. Come on, let's find it. Come on, let's find it. Let's find it. Come on, find it. Back this way, find it. Find it. Come on, you can find it. Come back this way. Maui, find it. Come here, buddy, what's this? Find it. Good boy. So I helped them out a little bit um, because you don't want them to not be successful. So there you have it. That's a quick, easy game. You could do it inside your home, hide them um, on the near the feet of furniture, on the coffee table. Um, I hide mine like on the TV stand, um, anywhere that you're comfortable having your dog climb up onto. Be careful in the home. Sorry, he's wanting to go out in the grass. Um, be careful in your home because if you put them on your cabinets, trust me, every time he smells food up there, he will be jumping up and looking for it. So try to keep your food out of your kitchen, that that's a no zone to play in. Um, and other than that, have fun with your dog. I'll be back with game number two in a minute. Okay, so another game you could play with your dog inside is hide and seek. And this is not a game that Maui knows yet. You do want to train a stay to get your dog to be able to stay and wait for you, especially if you're playing alone. If you have someone else to help and them to be able to hold the dog back before you want to release them, you can do that as well, especially in the beginning when you're starting. So we're gonna work with uh, Maui. I'm sure the other dogs are gonna play because, you know, they love treats. I don't know if you could tell. 
The three boys are right here. The girl is off the corner over there. She's eyeballing the food. Ah, there she is. Yeah. Okay, so we're all going to sit. They all know they have to sit. Sit down. Stay. Stay. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make them sit. You're going to make them stay. And then you're going to stay. You're going to walk away from that. Ah. Now he's still working on his sit. Sit down, buddy. Hey, come. Get off. Come here, Mal. Mal, you come. Sit. Sit down, Jack. Stay. So you're going to walk away around the corner um, to, to kind of get out of sight. You're not going to be completely out of sight. I'm using my, um, my uh, island here because they can still see me. And they're going to learn the, the sense of the game of the come find me thing. So stay. Where's mama? Good babies. So when they find me, they're going to get rewarded. They're all getting cheese today. Okay. So go. Come on out. Okay. So as you build on this, um, you're going to get further and further away. You're going to work around corners. You're going to work where they can't see you. Um, and you're going to help make this a little harder. You're going to make the stay wait longer. You're going to make them wait with their stay longer. You're going to um, hide behind a closed door. Let's say you pop into a closet over here. I have a closet right here I can sneak into. Um, when you're going into a closed space, you want to make sure you leave the door cracked a little bit so they can catch your scent um, and they can find you. It always helps, the game we just played, the find it game, um, it always helps to use those stinky treats and have those in your hand too because they can associate the find with finding you. So now they're finding the treat and you in the same location, then you work from not carrying that treat with you everywhere you go. So you make it a hide and seek and um, it's a fun game. They love, dogs love to be able to play. And these are easy games inside for your winters when you, you've got, you know, I don't know, snow on the ground, mud in your yard, um, all of those things where you can't go outside and play with your dog um, or getting out to take them for a walk is, it's just, too, the weather's too bad. So this is a good way to stimulate their mind, get them a little active, but um, by making them use their mind, uh, a training session and a searching and using their brain is um, about the equivalent of a 40 minute walk. That was four zero. So um, if you can get your dog to play for 10 minutes in the house uh, using their brain, it's equivalent to a 40 minute walk. So you could do this two or three times a day and it's like they're getting exercise out time, outside and their brain um, will, using their brain wears them out. So let's show you um, stepping around the corner. Um, I will probably, I know you're sitting so perfectly. Oh, now you got, I didn't ask for it. Okay. Um, so let's see how I can get the dogs in here. I'm gonna back the camera up. Lighting in here is not the best. We've not had the greatest weather lately. So um, let's back the camera up some. I'm gonna try to get the dogs to stay here. Come here, Gadget, come. <clears throat> Gadget, come. Sit, stay. Okay, all the dogs are right here, stay. They're all gonna turn, of course. Sit. Now I come. Right here. Sit down. Stay. Stay. So the next step is I'm just going to take a step around the corner where I'm out of sight. They can't see me. And come. Come. Uh-uh. Come. Now I come. Come here, baby. Good boys. Sit. Ow, that's a finger. Now we sit. Uh, this way, as I walk around the corner, you guys stay, they're going to have to come find me. Ah! Get down. Stay. Dashel, down. Stay. You stay. 
So I'm walking around the corner and into a doorway. Find mama. Good baby. Good job. So that's how you work this game. Um, you just continue to make your distance further and further each time. And as you, um, as you, as they get comfortable finding you, you can make your hiding places harder in a bathtub behind the shower curtain, in a closet, um, in a room, um, under the blankets in your bed. So those types of things. Have fun with your dog. Maui's licking the tripod. So it's wiggling, sorry. <laughs> so have fun with your dog. Let them play and enjoy some winter games indoors this, this year. So I hope you found today's games fun. I know the dogs did. If you did, drop me a thumbs up. You can follow me for more tips and tricks on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram at Holistic Households. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.